some mark, uh, a market overview and industry trends. Very quickly, and this is from the National Association of Realtors profile in 2010, home buyers and sellers. There's your typical first time buyer. You can see younger than the repeat buyer, of course. Um, and you can see their statistics there, how much they make in a median way. Next, why do buyers want to own today? Same, same study, and no surprise there, first time buyers want to buy a home because they want to have a home. That's kind of a no-brainer. Repeat buyers, not so much, because they are a repeat buyer. Some of this stuff is, is as you can see, is, is very, um, well, you would guess that the results would be without doing a survey. You can see the, the instances of uh, job relocation is, is important, uh, certainly f more for uh, the first-time buyers than, than the repeat buyers. This one I thought was interesting. This is where the buyer found their home. Now this doesn't mean that a real estate agent was not used. This, this means where did the buyer first start looking? And wh where, did they, they, where did they get wind that this house is something that they might be interested in? And you can see that uh, some of the uh, some of the sources, friend, relative, neighbor, directly from sellers, print newspaper, home builder, yard sign, uh, have all been kind of constant since 2001. They've been just going to straight kind of across the, the spectrum there, neither rising nor falling much at all. You can see the real estate agent is up there at the top and now is in a dead heat with what you would expect probably, the internet. So buyers are using the internet as people use the internet uh, on, on a lot of things, much more. Method used to sell a home. This is the kind of the, the corollary. Once you found your home or once you, when you, when you wanna sell a home, what do you do? And what's kind of uh, Assuring to me and probably to you is that agent assisted versus FISBOs or others is right up there in the low to now high 80s. It's going up. It's gone up from 83% in 2003 to 88% uh, in 2010. So if you got a, you got a seller, they want to sell your home, the chances are they're going to go to a real estate brokerage to get that done. Home price versus rent. This is used to, to indicate um, that what it does indicate is that the time is ripe for renters to become buyers. You can see this is, this is comparing home prices versus rent. And the, the home prices are in blue, and you could see they, they, they were kind of tracked pretty closely uh, in terms of where they were from 1980 all the way to darn near 2004. And then home prices went higher than rent. And then where are they now? In, in, 2000, I'm guessing 2010, they're lower. They are lower. Rent keeps going up. Rent keeps going up just about the same way it has since 1980. So that, what that tells you is that if you're a renter, uh, you can expect increases in rent and the time to buy is, is as good as it's been for quite some time. And this gets into that same question. Qualified renters who can buy a medium priced home measured from 2005 until 2010. You can see there that um, median price has gone down by darn near 40000 
mortgage rate about the same, down payment about the same, monthly payment about $340 less. Uh, so again, renters should become buyers. This is the housing baseline outlook that this is again came from the National Association of Realtors. Moderate uh, gross domestic product expansion is predicted 2.5% to 3% in the next two years. 1.5 to 2 million annual job additions. Nothing could be more important, and you know this, than consumer confidence to the real estate market. And if people think, if people are nervous, well, first of all, if, if someone has a job and they're nervous about keeping the job, then the chances are they're not going to jump into the housing market. It's just human nature, unless you're just one of these devil-may-care people who, d who doesn't care. But, and and the, the amount of jobs we have in this country has gone down, and, or at least uh, the amount we've lost hasn't matched the amount we've created. And Ohio is, is, has, been, had, has suffered uh, like a, we're not the worst for sure, uh, but we're seeing that start to turn around in this state. And, and Ohio now, for the first time in a long time, is one of the few states that really is, has seen significant job creation. Now, are the jobs that are created as well-paying and, and as good in people's minds as the ones that were lost? I don't know. But in any event, we seem to be going in the right direction there. Um, home values, no meaningful change, and at least, well, that's, that's positive because at least they're not going down. Uh, mortgage rates go up maybe a little bit, not much. This one, I've been questioned about this, and I, this, this is not my study. Uh, the, the prediction, and it may be um, a little rosy, uh, <laughs> do you think? Well, we haven't seen it so far. But the prediction is that the home sales are going to go up 7% to 10% in 2011. I certainly hope they're correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's unemployment rates by state. This is um, Bureau of Labor Statistics is the source of this. You do not want to be in the brown. We're not, which is good. Look who is, California, Florida, Michigan. Um, what's that state up here, right next to uh, Alabama? Is that Alabama? Mississippi, yes. So those states are, are high. Uh, we are in the red, which is 8% to 9.9%. And we used to be higher. Uh, we would have been up there in the purple, uh, or, or brown, excuse me, the brown. But now the latest uh, unemployment rate that I've seen is 8.6%. It's gone, for the first time in about three or four months, it has not dropped, it stayed flat. The surveyors and the experts are not concerned about that. So it appears that we are in the right direction there. This one, you could almost superimpose this map on the one I just put up there because there is a definite um, matchup between the amount housing values have dropped and unemployment. You can see the same states. Some states have been hit just unbelievably. Uh, look at Nevada, 59% drop in real estate in the state of Nevada. That's Arena, or that's uh, Las Vegas. So, La Florida, 49% in the aggregate in their state. Georgia, 31. Uh, Arizona, 50%. And California, 45. Where are we? We're at uh, 222. Not good, but certainly not horrible, like it is in some parts of the country. This is your Ohio MLS study. 
um, from January to April, 2.11 versus 2.10. Uh, compared to what we were just looking at, uh, and this is um, units sold and average sales price, whether they're up or down. You can see Columbus is doing considerably better in many categories uh, than, than the rest of the, of the state. But there are pockets where it's not good at all. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, the properties shouldn't be duplicated. The listing shouldn't be duplicated. Oh, oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really an MLS guy, but th that should be pretty easy to, to answer. I'm sure your M Columbus's MLS people will be able to tell you the answer to that real fast. Because there are other MLSs around here, too. Yes, Stan, you know. Okay. Okay, the an there's your answer. Okay. Now there's a series of, and we'll go through this really quickly because all these look alike. The, the, they begin in 1991, go to 2011, and they all are going to have this kind of curve, be it national or Ohio. This is uh, home sales. There's units sold in Ohio. There's Ohio dollar volume. Look pretty similar. Ohio statewide average home prices look Pretty much the same little curve there. The last two I got for you are, I indicated earlier that um, there was, there was some evidence that commercial real estate is starting to turn around. And this is commercial sales uh, for properties valued at 2.5 million or higher. And you can see that it was not good whatsoever in um, the third quarter, first quarter of 09. 09, the whole year, 09 was bad. But it is starting to turn around so that the first quarter of 210, I think that's what that says, is starting to move up. And the third quarter of 210 was moving up too. So the commercial sector is showing some signs of life. This would indicate the same thing. Um, this is the sales realtors commercial sales trend modestly getting better. Office rents. Wow, look at 09. 09 was really bad as far as rents as well as other things. And now in 2011 at least it is appearing to get better, and the prediction is that it will get be even better in 2012. Commercial market forecast. Um, the prognosis that NAR gave us there is uh, modest growth in almost every category. All right. The last